Hey guys, this is Financial Team Financial Fitness. And we've decided to do a one, two, three, four, four, five, six. I don't know how many parts it's going to be, but give you a step by step playbook, a blueprint on how we and you can get into rental properties because it is one of the best investments I can think of. It's that's what the wealthy do. All you have to do to figure out how to be wealthy is do what the wealthy do. <laughs> and that's what I did. And I came up with this harebrained idea, like I always do, and I talked my wife into it about rental properties. And, <laughs> and it worked. And I want to start off with step number one being find a lender. And we want to elaborate on that. Mm -hmm. on what we need to bring the lender because we're not going to use our money. <laughs> Everybody think, oh, you got to have money to make money. Not true. That is not true at all. So after we find this lender, let's go into that a little bit. So when we find one, we're not going to find one. We're going to find like five or six or ten. Find all of them. Talk to all of them, wouldn't you say? Yes. I say interview them just like you interview to a job or anything, interview them, see what their interest rates are, see what their policies are, and don't be intimidated. I was so intimidated at first when I walked in. Well, our story, I walked in, and he wasn't with me, and I provided limited information, and they pretty much said no, and I walked out nearly crying and called him, and I, heard, I learned the hard way, so don't be intimidated. Don't interview them. So the next time, we walked in like we own the place. <laughs> And I said, I have, if you're not wanting to loan me money, then you're not in the loaning business because we have good credit. Mm -hmm. We pay our bills. We do all the stuff. We had enough money. You know, we had all these things and we saved and got ready for it and we didn't even need to do. So you interview them, you know, yep. see what they're willing to do. Talk to all of them. And I'm going to give you the best tip I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Bring a financial statement. Yes. All your assets. Minus all your liabilities. And what else is on there? Look down your everything that you own. So go down and start with um, if you own a house, if you own land, if you own cars, if you own any kind of 401ks, any savings, um, anything that you own and you consider and you break it down to assets versus any debt you have. And then you pretty much take that away. But don't forget to include personal property. That's very important because that is included in your portfolio. Yeah, and that'll kind of help them. So the banker's got a big stack of papers on his desk already. They're mm -hmm. all hard work. But if you streamline it for them mm -hmm. and it's laying right there, it's like, oh, oh, everything's done. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is say, yeah, right? That's a good idea. Yeah. Make it easy for them. That's the best trick I can tell you. Yes. So... And also include when you go and you have your financial statement, which you can get online. You can find a little short one. You can find more of a detailed one, depending on what your needs are. Don't forget to bring your last three years of your tax income turn, uh, income tax returns. They want three years. And some way to prove proof of employment. So if you have an employer, maybe you have your, your 1099s, your W-9s, whatever, check stubs, they want to Show, they wanted us to show that also. It's like the last six check stubs or something like I mean, that. I just made copies of them and print, printed off our, our bank account. Yeah, and most of us have that. Mm -hmm. So we found a few lenders, mm -hmm. and we have went to them and said, hey, I want to do rental properties. Mm -hmm. Here's all my stuff. And they agree or whatever they say. Uh, and they're going to want to know, well, what's the deal? What, well, you know, I don't have a deal yet or whatever. Just kind of create that relationship, talk to them. And now you have this sense of, okay, let's find the deal. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the next video, but I want to finish up this video with, should we talk about assets and liabilities a little bit more? What do you, what do, you, what do we leave We can, at? but also when you're talking to them, kind of lock in a little bit. Make sure stuff's in writing. Like if they tell you that it's going to be a certain interest rate or it's going to be a certain, if it's a certain arm, then you have a, a what is it called? I forget. Just drew a blank. Um, where it's uh, your interest rate can go up and down. Fixed. fixed. If it's fixed or not fixed, if you have an arm, kind of lock that in. Just don't take it verbally. Try to get something in writing, an email, something like that, because that will protect you in the future. Yeah, they're going to want to do a five-year fixed on LLC, usually. We got 15-year. That can be done. And With a lot of hard work. Yeah. 
they don't really advertise it that much, but uh, I went ahead and we we put ours in a basket and mm-hmm. we got 15 year fixed mm-hmm. because we're going into this weird environment. You know, after 2020 is the Thunderdome, so I thought I would, you know, interest rates. Maybe, I, there's no telling. You know, any, nothing's off the table. Yeah, and don't be afraid to ask them. Like they even told us at first it wasn't available, and this guy he doesn't stop. And he said, come on, you guys, you can't give me better than that. And finally the guy said, yeah, I think I can do 15 year." And so we just signed a 15 year At the closing table. At the closing table. <laughs> At the closing table, yeah. So don't be as scared. That was my biggest thing I learned. Don't be scared to ask questions and push them. Yeah, I'm not scared of rejection. I wish I'd learned that sooner. <laughs> that's how I got my why. I wasn't scared of rejection. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we've learned. I hope that... Hopefully we can, because we learn the hard way. Yeah, I hope this helps. And this is this is step number one. Find a lender, yes. get your uh, your financial statement, get your tax financial returns. statement in order. Three years tax return. Get your banks, uh, your pay stubs ready. Mm-hmm. Get everything ready and put it in a Manila envelope and just have it there, ready to go. And start hitting up bankers yep. and see what they say. And get your pump primed because we're almost there. We're gonna we're doing this crazy stuff right now. We're gonna have this thing, and then who's ever got who's ever ready is ready. If you're not ready, you're not gonna be ready then. And that's not the time to get ready when everything's at the bottom. Mm-hmm. So this is financial fitness. I hope you all enjoyed it. We're gonna come out with step number two, maybe tomorrow. You wanna do it tomorrow? Yeah. Step number two tomorrow. I hope you have an awesome day. Like and subscribe. Later.